This community uh, has an incredibly vibrant arts and culture scene. Artists have a huge role to play, uh, and so I think it's really important to make those investments. I think for so long, our arts and culture nonprofits have been kind of starved from resources at the city level, competing against, you know, mainstream nonprofit um, in the arts. I think it means, you know, advocating for equitable resources for all. We're so proud because it's really been 10 years, or even over 10 years in the making from Ho Yumei, a Chinatown resident, being at Central Subway, Kathy Liu, Shenrei artist, receiving the Sika Award, He Su Kwon being the very first artist and resident at 41 Ross, woman, woman, traveling to Hong Kong, and all of us coming together for CMAC and Neon Was Never Brighter. It's really about a multi-generational set of voices artists, cultural workers, representing Chinatown and the Asian American visual culture at large. So I really have been a long a fan and admirer of CCC. I'm very excited to be here. I really admire the program here. I'm super excited to get to know everyone and see how we can collaborate. Dawn Chorus 3 with Sofia Cordova was such an important moment that opened up the alleyway and allowing us to imagine how inclusive it could be. You know, inviting the refugee women to paint and create their work, to perform, and to see their work to completion on opening night. We were really intentional about being international um, in this approach, that the story is a story that's experienced by so many people, and I wanted to create a broader kind of spectrum for that because I think that these stories are far more more prevalent than we think. It's been the 45th day that she's here as an artist in resident. We have 45 more days to go. You know, you're here right in the center of it. I wanted to make some uh, space open to everyone, like the neighborhood and people who love art. Everyone can join here and come here and hang out. Today is the grand opening. Welcome to Lei Musum Sarangbang. Thank you so much for coming. I'm good at this. My shop is exhibit here. You know, like a friendship or family type of gathering inspire me to be a uh, good uh, friend and also to be part of the community more. Together then to celebrate art and culture. This is sacred ground with sacred heroes in it. To be here to honor all the AAPI leaders that came before me, it's really great to see this in my neighborhood. Also, my honor to be here with you today. Thank you. Chinese Cultural Center is deeply honored to celebrate California State Senator Scott Winner, who has focused extensively on housing, transportation, civil rights, criminal justice reform, clean energy, and elevating poverty since his election in 2016. Last year, Senator Winner advocated and secured $1 million to uplift cultural equity through support of AAPI arts. He also served in a number of community leadership roles, including co-chair of the San Francisco LGBT Community Center and on the National Board of Directors of the Human Rights Campaign. We have California State Senator Scott Winner here with us today, and congratulations on receiving the Legislator of the Year Award from the Chinese Cultural Center. Thank you for having me. Can you tell me about your early influences, especially in your professional and political pursuit? How do they continue to impact you? Yeah, so I, I grew up in New Jersey. I think because I grew up in a Jewish family in a very non-Jewish area, uh, and we experienced some anti-Semitism 
And uh, I realized early on that it was very important to be aware and engaged and active in the community. And so I uh, started to volunteer on some political campaigns. Uh, I just kept going from there and got more and more involved over the years through college and then moving to San Francisco. How do you get started in civil service and what kept you on that path? Being at community events, interacting with the community, it makes me a better elected official when I'm constantly seeing and talking to and hearing from community members, even when they're mad at me. That makes me better to hear what people's opinions are, and so I enjoy that. What can you tell me about your relationship with CCC and with the AAPI community? Well, uh, I have a, it's a huge honor that in my district, 36% of the district is part of the AAPI, is one, uh, one of various AAPI communities, including our amazing Chinese community. And, our, um, and I uh, have a long working relationship with the Chinese Cultural Center, working, for example, last year uh, to obtain some budget funding uh, for an arts program. Uh, that, uh, that, that the center was uh, starting in Chinatown. We know that Chinatown has suffered so much during the pandemic. We wanted to get some resources into the community and bring uh, support uh, our artists. Uh, so it's been a wonderful working relationship. What is your vision for the future? Uh, my vision is for a safe and healthy and affordable uh, San Francisco and community. Uh, we want people to be, you know, it's such an amazing city. Children who grow up here, being able to continue to live here and afford to live here. But everyone to be able to feel safe here. And we want people to be healthy. And COVID taught us and reminded us that everyone needs to be able to see their, see their doctor and have access to health care and, uh, and be able to live long and happy and healthy lives. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to receive the Legislator of the Year Award from the Chinese Cultural Center? Uh, I was so um, surprised and happy and honored when they called me to let me know that I would be receiving uh, this award. I'm, I was just really uh, warmed my heart uh, because this is such an important organization, not just in, in Chinatown, but for the entire city and such a respected organization that really works to make sure that everyone understands the beauty and power of Chinese culture, that people understand the history, uh, that we're empowering artists. And so I'm, I'm just thrilled and just so honored. Congratulations to my great former colleague, who I refer to as the tallest, most giraffe-like honorary Chinese legislator, Scott Wiener. 參議員威成哥甘心和明的社區,可一直以來對政府會和明的社區爭取權利,可得到年度立法的意願,的前後東之無愧,恭喜恭喜。Senator Winner care about our community. He deserved the title Legislator of the Year. Congratulations. Chinese Culture Center is honored to present the Cultural Equity Champion Award to Goretti Lo Liu. She's a fierce champion for the arts and culture in San Francisco and for the community. Goretti is director of the Liu Foundation. In 2017, she co-founded the Rose Pack Community Fund, a nonprofit charitable organization. She's a trustee on the board of Chinese Historical Society San Francisco since April 2018. I was always interested in art. Growing up as a little girl from Hong Kong, I have always been in art lessons after school, of course, and then I'm in piano and ballet from Hong Kong. Um, there are a lot of um, opportunities for me to be involved in art. Uh, we go to museums and we get to visit little villages with old, you know, um, architecture. So I'm really involved with culture also. All of that has cultivated me to have a, a an eye for culture and arts. I am involved with the Asian Art Museum. I'm involved with the War Memorial and Performing Arts Center. I'm also involved with the San Francisco Symphony 
And for our community in Chinatown, I'm involved with the Chinese Historical Society of America as well as the Rose Pack Community Fund. So back in 2018, I joined the Chinese Historical Society of America. You know, we are not planning an exhibition just for Chinatown or just for the Asian American community. I have to also thank Mayor London Breed for funding this project. I think this is not a funding, but an investment. So looking ahead, I hope that there will be a lot more collaboration of this sort in our community. Um, and Bruce Lee is just the beginning and I hope there will be more to come. We are not only showcasing a Chinese American legend, but we also engaging different culture groups to participate at this exhibition. It is all about harmony, how to work together, and how to use art and culture as a platform to appreciate the values that we all share in each other's cultural background, as well as understanding our differences. I think the community to me is working harmoniously together. I know everybody has their own opinions, their own thoughts, but I think, you know, if you work harmoniously, you will respect each other as well as building upon each other. The motivation is because of all of you guys, the young people push me. <laughs> I think with young people, and young organization like CCC. I think there's so many possibilities that, you know, that we can aim. But I think, you know, trying to work together is going to be a more easy way than working all by oneself, right? I'm proud to receive this award from CCC because all the arts organizations that I'm involved with are connected to CCC and contribute to the city's arts and culture. And on behalf of the Rose Pack Community Fund Board of Directors, we salute and celebrate you today. We are so fortunate to have you on our board and as a fighter for our Chinatown community, you are a fireball and truly embody Rose's spirit with your tenacious dedication to serve our community. And congratulations to the Chinese Culture Center on your 57 years of service to our city. Hi, I'm Doug Chan, Chairman of the Board of the Chinese Historical Society of America. Greti, I'm standing here in the middle of our refurbished gallery where we're showing We Are Bruce Lee and none of this would have been possible without your tireless advocacy. Thank you and congratulations on your receipt of the Cultural Equity Champion Award. Congratulations, Greti are receiving the Culture Equity Champion Award. Your leadership in arts, culture, and community has been impressive, impactful, and inspiring. You supported many organizations, including the Asian Art Museum. So on behalf of the entire Asian Art Museum family, its board, staff, and volunteers, I want to extend our very best heartfelt congratulations. Hi, my name is Mary Chu, and I'm the director of the Public Art Program and the Civic Art Collection for the San Francisco Arts Commission. We are the city agency that champions the arts as essential to everyday life. So it's my great pleasure to join you today to celebrate the work of these three incredible artists for the Central Subway Station in Chinatown. These works serve as an important reminder of the power of art to address the complexity and diversity of neighborhoods. The work of each of these artists celebrates the people, history, and culture of Chinatown and San Francisco as a whole. Our community partners were integral to the success of this art program. Chinese Culture Center participated in the development of the Arts Master Plan for all the stations and helped with recruiting and providing technical assistance to local artists. Chinese Culture Center also hosted meet and greets so that artists could receive input from the local community on their designs. We look forward to continuing our great partnership with CCC on future projects. We started this art program 15 years ago, so it's particularly exciting 
and an honor to be here today to congratulate the artists on their work. Thank you. Tomi Aride is a public artist from New York City whose work has been shown nationally. She has designed both temporary and permanent public works of art for many organizations and institutions. In 2015, with artists Betty Yu and Mansi Kong, she co-founded the Cultural Collective, the Chinatown Art Brigade. Chinatown Art Brigade is a recent recipient of a 2018 Lower Manhattan Cultural Council Creative Engagement Grant a laundromat project creative engagement residency, a fourth arts block New York City storefront residency. Hi, today we have Tomi Aride. She's receiving the Visionary Artist Award from the Chinese Cultural Center. How are you, Tomi? Hello, it's such a pleasure to be here, thank you. What is the most rewarding part of the work you do? What's become the most rewarding part of the work is to find purpose and meaning in the work I do. And I I believe that purpose and meaning really does come from working with other people and building relationships through the work. Um, public art projects like the Central Subway Station have given me an opportunity to build relationships with new communities and um, learn new stories about the places that people live in. And I find that that kind of exchange is what makes the work so meaningful to me. How would you describe your relationship with Chinatown as character? My grandparents on my father's side, who were Japanese, actually met and married in San Francisco. And um, they, they later moved to um, Sacramento, which is where my father was born. But I've always felt like I had a very um, deep history for that reason in San Francisco in the Bay Area. And I happened to have met my husband in Chinatown um, 50 years ago. We've been together for almost five decades. Um, we were working together in a community arts program in Chinatown called Basement Workshop. Chinatown is a place that is so important to me and to my family. What does it mean to you to receive the Visionary Artist Award from the Chinese Cultural Center? To be recognized by your peers or by the people that you care most about. And uh, I feel like this has been an opportunity to reciprocate in, um, in both ways, you know, in, in, to have my work acknowledged, but also to honor the Chinese Cultural Center uh, as well because of the work that they've done in the community. Family and friends and colleagues will be attending the virtual gala that evening. Is there anyone you want to thank or say a few words to? I have such a long list of people <laughs> that I would like to thank, but I, I first and foremost really would like to thank uh, the, the residents of San Francisco Chinatown, the grassroots organizations who are working so hard uh, to provide services for the community. And for organizations like this Central Sub uh, Subway Project and the Chinese Cultural Center who are, are playing such as a big role in acknowledging how important art and culture is to the quality of life in our communities. Thank you, Tomi, again, and congratulations for receiving the Visionary Artist Award from the Chinese Cultural Center. It's been such an honor. Thank you so much. Hi, Tamia. Congratulations on the Visionary Artist Award. It's such a well-deserved recognition. Uh, it's been an honor working with you with the brigade these last several years. We love you so much and we can't wait to celebrate with you when you return. Congratulations. Tamiya has always made me feel proud. From the 1960s to today, she's used her incredible art to raise consciousness and build bridges between all communities of color from Chinatown and beyond. Congratulations, Tamiya. You so richly deserve this award. You who are admired and loved and appreciated for your wisdom and beauty 
in how you live your life and your politics and your art practice. Claire Roja is a highly acclaimed contemporary artist, currently working and living in San Francisco. Claire is known for her narrative paintings and her more recent graphic abstraction work and her narrative paintings have explored relationships between the sexes and among humans and animals and the struggle to find harmony and balance. Claire has received numerous accolades and her work is in the permanent collections of Whitney Museum of American Arts, the American Museum of the Moving Image, the Walker Arts Center, and the Denver Art Museum. Hi, Claire. I'd like to congratulate you for receiving the Visionary Artist Award from the Chinese Cultural Center. And we have here is Claire Rojas. How are you, Claire? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Can you tell me more about the conception of the Central Subway Public Art Project? How did you get involved? The SF Arts Commission actually reached out. Uh, they thought that I would be a good fit. Um, to apply for this project. They give you these architectural renderings, but I kind of immediately thought of this idea for it because it just seemed so perfect. The idea of gathering material and textiles in a cathedral type quilt pattern because the shape of the train station wall that I got was like the, a cathedral type wall. So, it, you know, it's been a decade working on this, though. Wow. It's taken a long time to get here. How would you describe your relationship with Chinatown, its character? I lived in the mission, and, you know, you have such a strong sense of the community there. And then when you go to Chinatown, you get the same sense. There's a very strong tight-knit community that looks out for each other. And I think in the bigger cities, um, that is very special to see. And you have the language and the music and the food and the, the history, the family roots. What does this mean to you to receive the Visionary Artist Award from the Chinese Cultural Center? Um, it makes me feel like um, accepted, like I did something good maybe. <laughs> that it was my idea was received with open arms and it felt very um, inclusive. And I really appreciate feeling like I did something that honored that community. So Claire, thank you so much for talking to us today. And again, I want to congratulate you for receiving the Visionary Artist Awards from the Chinese Cultural Center. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I am looking forward to seeing you all in the train station. Hi, Claire. Congratulations from the San Jose Museum of Art on receiving the Chinese Cultural Center's Visionary Artist Award. From the Central Subway Station in San Francisco to the wayfinding banners that you created for downtown San Jose, your public artworks inspire us as we move through urban spaces and help us to see cities in new ways. It was such a pleasure to have worked with you and I look forward to what the future may hold. Congratulations again. Congratulations to Claire Rojas on winning the Visionary Artist Award at the Chinese Cultural Center Gala. We're so happy for you. Hao Yimei is an immigrant Manchurian artist originally from the Jilin province in China. Her paper cut works had won national and international renown. Yimei is a sculptor for the Chinese New Year Parade floats. Recently, Yimei has advanced her works to include animated paper cuts as part of her artistic practice. Visionary Artist Award Award 
，在我小时候生生长在长白山，一个农村的家庭，那个邻居吧也有剪纸的，我母亲剪纸、绣花、绣枕头都会，那我很好奇，所以我就跟着学。你可唔可以同大家讲讲关于中央地铁嘅艺术创作嘅理念咧？对，我小时候啊，诶、呃，生活在东北，东北那个地区呢，每到过年春，诶、呃，过节就是春节的时候，都有扭大秧歌、拜年、闹正月，一直扭到正月十五。所以呢，我们。哎，大小孩子哈、啊、都会扭秧歌，我也会扭秧歌，所以我就把这个秧歌剪的，它就活灵活像的，非常像。你希望大家喺你嘅艺术创作中得到啲乜嘢咧？咁中央地铁艺术又点样影响到我哋嘅社区啊？都认识一下，我们的祖祖宗那边的艺术是多么好看呢？哈，嗯，让他们懂。这是中国的啊、哦，他们有的父母就讲给孩子，说这就是咱们中国的这个民间艺术啊，呃，很少现在很少看到了。我一听说很少看到了，那我就要努力多多剪。后来就办班文化中心呢经常办班请我去，还有图书馆，哎、呃，博物馆、私立大学，也有很多地方就请我去教剪纸。那我就耐心的教，希望这些华人都理解。哎，不但华人学，还有美国人也也来学，呃，孩子也来学，大人还有美国那个美国白人还来学呢，黑人也来学。成为社区嘅一部分，对你嚟讲意味啲乜嘢咧？你对社区有乜嘢嘅寄望啊？啊，我希望。我们中国剪纸能够在这个华府啊，起到一个，呃，民民族性的哈文化，呃，一个交流吧，一个阵地，能够让它传承下去，在美国，呃，旧金山的华府扎下根，能够让更多的华人也来学习，呃，将这个剪纸艺术呢继续传承下去。再次恭喜你得到 Visionary Artist Award 呢個獎項，咁啊喺度多謝咧藝術家侯玉梅女士，很高興在這裡見到大家。侯玉梅同志的作品榮獲舊金山三藩市中央地鐵標識的信息消息。我表示热烈的祝贺。洪老师，恭喜你得到了 Visionary Artist Award， 耶、yeah! ！Congrats， Congratulations to Hou Yumei， to Tommy Araya， and also to Claire Rojas， and they are all female representation。So power to the women， thank you。Thank you, everyone, for joining me and the Chinese Culture Center in celebrating these amazing leaders. You are invited to participate in uplifting and empowering communities through arts by visiting the Chinese Culture Center. We would also like to extend the invitation to the in-person Harmony and Bliss Gala and online auction on June second. Please visit cccsf.us for ticket and further information. Thanks for watching, and congratulations again to our honorees. And thank you so much again for tuning in.